Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if WordPad is not showing text properly or opening up with strange symbols or other icons when you're opening up a WordPad file. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest would be to open up the start menu, type in reg edit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Best match to come back a red sheet editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab. Select export. Export range should be selected to all and file name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Save it to convenient location on your computer and then just select the save option to finalize that. And once you've made your backup, we're ready to begin and we're going to start by expanding the HK current user folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Now it should be a Windows folder if you scroll down a little bit. So expand that one as well. Now it should be a current version folder. Expand that. Applets, expand that as well. And finally, there should be a WordPad folder, so double click on that. Please note if you need to go rewatch the video or pause, and you can take note of the path that we went under at the top of the registry editor right here. You can see each backslash is a different folder we've gone under. You can do that, so feel free to pause the video at this time. And once you are here underneath WordPad, you want to go right click on the options folder and then select the delete option in the context menu. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys? Left click on yes. Once you're done with that, I would suggest closing out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that should be about it. If you are still experiencing a problem once you've restarted your computer, you can attempt to run a system file checker scan. So that would be very simple as well. So just go open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match, go back with command prompt, right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now into this elevated command line window, just type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin running that scan and it will take some time to run. And honestly, once this is done, you should just restart your computer and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.